Hey, what's going on guys? Goose here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to properly set up the endpoints on your B-Brain light. If you've gone through the whole setup process and your channel mapping's all correct and your B-Brain light still won't arm, it's most likely that the throttle endpoints are not set correctly. The throttle endpoints need to be at the lowest 1,000 and at the highest 2,000 for the radio and the receiver to talk to each other in order for it to arm in beta flight. Your first step is to make a brand new model profile on your radio for your B-Brain light. If you try to transfer another profile from a different receiver or a different flight controller board, it's not going to work because the endpoints are set differently in different receivers and different flight controllers. The first thing we'll do with our FreeSky B-Brain light is plug in the battery. After that, you're going to want to plug in your micro USB cable, hit connect on beta flight, go over to the receiver tab, and now you'll see the throttle, the lowest point is at 885, and my highest point is at 2070. This is incorrect, and this is why this board won't arm. So to make things easier, we have a text file that has all the correct endpoints if you're using a brand new model on an FR Sky radio. So I'll have this linked in the video description. Go ahead and just highlight and copy all the RX ranges for the FR Sky version. Go over to CLI, and all you're gonna do is just paste into there and hit enter. After those are inputted, type save and hit enter again. This will save and restart the actual flight controller. After it's restarted, hit connect again. Go to the receiver tab. And now if we put our throttle to the bottom, you'll see it's at 1,000 and pretty close to 2,000. One degree off is okay. Uh, that's gonna be good enough, it'll still work. And then you can see all our roll, pitch, and yaw is all 1,500 centered. And if I move it down, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. So that's gonna fix your endpoint issue. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.